I'm certified chief meteorologist Tom Terry, and we are less than two months away now from the start of the hurricane season for 2025. And Colorado State University, Dr. Phil Klotzbaugh uh, is the director up there of their uh, hurricane uh, forecasting group. And you can see they've called for another above average hurricane season. Now, last year we had 19 storms. Uh, we are expecting almost the same amount this season, perhaps not quite as active. We'll talk about that, but you can see the these numbers are well above the seasonal average of the 17 storms that grow to become at least a tropical storm. That's when they get a name. So then they grow to a hurricane. So of these 17, nine will grow to become a hurricane. And of those nine, four could become major hurricanes. And these are the big ones that we really, really watch out for. But the names for this year, Andrea, Barry, Chantal, the first three. Then we get to Dexter, and that was kind of a new name. And this was a replacement name for Dorian, which was retired after the 2019 season. They use the same list of names every six years. There's six lists. They all go in rotation. So this year's list will show up again in 2031. Uh, for Ingrid, 2013, that was replaced with Imelda. So we're going to see some somewhat familiar names. And generally, we watch the central and western Gulf and into the Caribbean early on in the hurricane season. The waters are the warmest through here. We can get weak fronts that like to linger and that can create storms. Otherwise, the waters are extremely warm here and that's the primary reason for the accurately um, what I think is going to be an accurately busy forecast. Seven day forecast. The weekend always in view. We've got heat here until rain Tuesday comes our way.